I would love to first of all introduce our first keynote speaker, Mr. Bodom Mantungulu, who is an expert, a technical advisor in charge of infrastructure projects from Présidence de la République Démocratique du Congo. Bodom has a huge knowledge of the transport infrastructure and urban planning sector of Africa and DRC. He has worked and assumed very several function levels in the development and implementation of major projects. Bottom, we are very happy about your presence with us and excited to hear more during your keynote speech. The floor is yours. Hello, everybody. I'm delighted to be present in the, this forum. Thank you for uh, this opportunity and uh, I'm very happy to be here. First of all, uh, I want to say that addressing infrastructure gap is a key to Africa transformation. Uh, the continent infrastructure deficit in all sectors, including roads, railways, ports, airports, water, energy, transport, and weak communication network constitute an essential break on the economic transformation and industrialization of our continent. It limits uh, business productivity, creates problems of insecurity and social inequality. In a context of uh, paroxysmal demographic growth, according to UN forecast, African demographic development will be 19% by 2015, with more than 2.5 billion inhabitants. Infrastructure is needed that meets the needs of this population who will have to come to our continent. In addition to the lack of infrastructure, it is necessary to note the dilapidation of existing ones we have as corollary. The cost of access to services is too expensive. The African population pay twice as much for access to services. If heavy investment have been made in this direction, there is st still a considerable gap to fill, to be filled, according to the new estimating from the African Development Bank, as like uh, uh, Dan has said, today we need 113 billion dollars to 117 billion per year would be needing to develop the continent's infrastructure with an annual funding gap of around uh, 16, 68 billion to 108 billion dollars. To fill this gap is necessary to find first innovative sources of financing but also improve the institutional and regulatory framework, which imply better coordination at the institutional level, faster and more systematic approaches, avoiding the presence of long procedure, and a better investment climate of the continent. To facilitate the attraction of private investment and does promote the implementation of infrastructure projects. This financial gap should not scare us, but rather it should be seen as an opportunity for private sector. Today, we are witnessing and breathlessness of traditional financing mechanism. African countries have experimented with many mechanisms for financing the development of the, the infrastructure. These traditional methods of financing are ex, ex, experiencing limits in the face of needs which are being heading to the hold 
ones due to the slowdown in global economic growth. Mainly, it is official development assistance, which is becoming more unpredictable. External public debt show has an empowered trade. Foreign direct investment seems to be running out of steam in addition to a, a pronouncing sectoral polarization, like the attraction in promising sectors such as mining. Domestic resource mobilization Today, African countries still face immense difficulty in mobilizing fiscal resources at the state level. The big obstacles are illicit financial flow with the capital fly, leaving Africa, especially since the amount is sometimes greater than the total of head and investment. Significant resources are not mobilized due to the exception granting to certain companies. The use of innovative financing mechanisms. In view of the economic context and even with international heads, the inability of states to ensure the financing of major infrastructure projects will remain. It is necessary to diversify the source of financing, in particular by turning to financing mechanisms innovative, such as re recourse to the private sector, local and international, by public-private partnership. To close my keynote speech, I will say that this lack of infrastructure represents an emerge, emerge, emerging and attractive market for private investors. Public-private partnership represents an opportunity for African countries. Thank you for.